slavery never ended. It was perfected. Think about that. We're all slaves now. How can a society be told to be just, be honorable, be honest, when the people making those rules to live by are so corrupt? And do you think those corrupt people in government make those rules to weigh you down, to tie you up? Do you think those rules are being made so they have the advantage? You're told to be honest. You're told to be a just society. If you follow their rules, you will be so. Normally people tend to live their lives like their, their leaders. you have a good platoon leader, you have a good platoon. The opposite can be said. Yesterday what I saw on television did not look like your average Trump supporter. Now this is just my opinion. I'm admitting to that. Those who broke into the Capitol did not look like Trump supporters. They looked like people who had uh, infil infiltrated the group. Um, they did not appear to be Trump supporters. I don't know what news a lot of people are listening to, but I can tell you the news I'm listening to, they said maybe half a percentage of the total Trump crowd did what they did, broke in. They said about, at most, 50 or 60 people did all that. All dressed up, pre-equipped to do damage. Last night, Laura Ingram, a news anchor, good news anchor, she kept asking her guest the same questions and every one of them changed the subject. She started out by prefacing that when she got to the Capitol, she was immediately struck by the unusual, keywords, unusually low percentage of security, police presence, low security compared to any other day. Yet, the government knew weeks in advance that this protest, not the violent portion, the march, was going to happen. Yet on this particular day, an unusually low percentage of security was present. Or Ingram kept asking her guests, why was this? Why was it so easy for these protesters, these violent protesters, the violent ones, I gotta keep saying that, to get into the Capitol? And the, the guests kept reflecting the question. Well, you know, violence is never an answer. And I kept thinking to myself, she didn't ask you whether violence was the answer. Why was security so laxed on that day? Well, violence is not the answer, you know, uh, you know, so, you know, we need a next time look into this a little bit more and, you know, maybe next time uh, uh, rethink our, you know, uh, strategies and... Uh, why was, folks, think about it, why was security so laxed yesterday? I believe, again, my opinion, the shadow government, certain aspects of the shadow uh, of the government knew about this massive uh, march on the Capitol and utilized it. Called up their Antifa boys. Hey, need you to infiltrate this group. Need you to make them look bad. That's my opinion what happened. Antifa came back and says, 
yeah, Mr. Shadow Government, um, but, you know, security's kind of tight there. Shadow Government, don't worry about that. We got that all taken care of. Come on in, boys. This is so far-fetched, what I'm saying, compared to stealing an election, compared to what Hillary Clinton done, deleted all that information, set up servers in our home. What I'm saying is it's so far-fetched. By the way, good morning, folks. Is um, I'm going to work. Little cup of coffee here. Mm. An Ethiopian blend. By the way, I've been buying this lately. You folks have not tried this. I don't know. You might have to pause the camera. It's tuna fish, but it's not that sawdust garbage. You know, when you open up some cans of tuna fish, it's basically sawdust. Half of it goes down the drain. These are chunks, but it's in, uh, in olive oil. I eat it right out of the can. One can a day. Try to keep the heart healthy. But anyway, enough of the commercial. By the way, they're not sponsoring me. This violence that we're seeing, that was good actually. This violence that we're seeing, hmm, they're gonna utilize it. They're gonna use it to protect you. In order to protect you, we're gonna have to take away some of your rights. We're gonna have to take away maybe your guns. It's for your protection. But don't you worry, after that, if you need any help, if your daughter's getting raped or your home is being burglarized, you don't you worry. You, you just call 911, the defunded police. When seconds count, they'll be minutes away. Metaphorically, they'll actually be hours away. I like saying that, when minutes count, I mean, when seconds count, they'll be minutes away. I think we're going to see um, purposefully set up, strategically set up from by the people who want to take away your guns, bubbles of violence around this nation now. Curfews. How convenient. You must wear a mask. That way you can't see who the bad people are on when you record them with your cell phone. How convenient. Everybody's wearing a mask now. I don't condone violence. I really don't. This channel has never been about uh, um, condoning violence, um, getting people to commit violence. I'm not into that shit. You know, I could tell at all those Trump rallies the last week or so when he kept calling out Pence. I hope Pence does the right thing. I hope Pence does the right thing. I don't know, but he better do the right thing. Blah, 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 blah. At that point in time, I can tell that Trump did not have any faith in Pence. The way he kept calling him out. It's going to take... You know, it takes courage to do nothing, but if you can do it, you know, we better do the right thing. I don't know. Trump knew all along. Trump knows, knew all along who his enemies were. What happened yesterday, again, I don't believe it was the Trump supporters. But let's just say it was, just for argument's sake, let's just say it was Trump supporters. I've never seen such a bold defense of protesters in the past year compared to what happened yesterday. Every one of them, oh man, we, need to, we can't have violence. Violence is not the answer. Violence is not the answer. I kept hearing it on every news station. Even the conservative news stations, Fox News and Newsmax. Violence is not the answer. Violence is not the answer. CNN. Violence is not the answer. It seemed to, uh, you know, I thought protesting, as long as you're protesting, everything's a, everything is kosher. Everything is kosher as long as you're protesting, I thought. I thought you can burn down an entire city. And as long as it was in the name of protest, it was all cool. Catch and release. Matter of fact, you don't even get arrested. 
for it. Oh, you're a protester? <laughs> Go have at it. While you're at it, why don't you break down a couple of um, windows to, to some department stores and steal everything they got? No, what happened was this violence, which is normally redirected again through channels in our government, they call in Antifa. Antifa starts burning down local stores and local businesses and whatnot. That redirects the people. That 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 people are like a Pied Piper following the mice or whatever the rats off the following the guy with the flute and the rats off the you know the cliff. They see people breaking into the stores, grabbing a few th free things there. Well, they, they turn their attentions to, well, I want to get me some free things. So they don't go to the freaking local courthouses and the people that they're really mad at. They're running towards the courthouses, the government, local government buildings, the people that, that really freaking um, put the chains on them. I'm going to get even with those guys. Oops, someone's breaking into freaking, uh, oh shit, they're breaking into Macy's, getting them some free stuff. I'm going to get me some stuff. That's how it's redirected. That's why you never see people taking violence out against their own government. The people who are doing them wrong. Because they're always redirected by a, by these radical groups that are told to go in there and, and redirect them. Well, redirection didn't work yesterday, in my opinion. It actually, uh, a lot of them saw that violence being aimed directly at them, although they were they were protected. They were not accustomed to to that. Saying that. A lot of Republicans turned on Trump yesterday. Actually, more than a lot. The majority of them did. And they used, uh, they used, um, the violence in, at the Capitol as an excuse. They were so quick to do it. Oh, they broke in? Oh, definitely going against, uh, uh, going against Trump. It's almost as though they wanted to all along, but we're looking for any little excuse. Yes, I said little excuse. I don't condone, condone violence. But what happened yesterday was no violence compared to what's gonna happen in the future. What's gonna happen when you want your freedoms back? Because you may give away your freedom, you'll need to fight for them back. So in my opinion, what happened yesterday was just nothing compared to what has to be done to get your freedoms back in the future. But getting back to these Republicans, these spineless Republicans. You know, if Trump hasn't done anything, he has shown us one thing, who the true enemy is, and that's all of them. That is all of them. They are spineless, conniving deceptors, deceivers. We'll say anything to get into power. Lady from uh, Georgia, the blonde lady that uh, lost the Senate race. I forget, Kelly, I forget her name. Like I said, I don't even waste my time. Remember, these people are not worth my my memory capacity. The, the blonde lady, the, you know, they both, Purdue and uh, Loeffler. She even turned against Trump yesterday. Voted uh, for, for the, uh, uh, for Biden. Voted for to not reject the state's argument that the, um, I'm trying to say this right, argument that the, the, the elections were a fraud. She voted against it. These people hugged on Trump and everything. Basically, we're on their, uh, I don't want to go there, but uh, you get my point. Almost every last one of them turned against him. Did Trump make a mistake yesterday? Absolutely. Because 
the information was out there, the intelligence information was out there that Antifa could possibly infiltrate his march. Yeah, he called for them to march. Mistake, we all make mistakes. We now know who our enemies are. And it's all of them. They'll say anything and everything at that podium. Vote me in and I will serve you. Vote me in and I will end corruption. Vote me in. They get into office. They become part of the corruption. And they don't serve you. They rule over you. Again, slavery never ended. It was perfected.